Ja, herzlich willkommen zu unserer Pressekonferenz nach dem zweiten Halbfinale gegen die Deutsche Bank Skyline aus, aus Frankfurt. Ich begrüße die beiden Trainer, Gordon Herbert und Muli Katsurin. Coach, your statement about the game, please. No, I was, proud, I was proud of our players, the way they persevered through some adversity. And one, we, we, one, we persevered through some adversity. Two, we were down the whole game. And uh, we never gave up. You know, but like I said, after game one, this is just, you know, this is the second set of a, a five-set tennis match. It's 1-1. One, one. You know, and uh, all it says is there'll be a fourth game here. Hey, we're gonna, it, uh, it's it. Muli, your statement. Congratulations, coach, and for Frankfurt. I think overall uh, Frankfurt uh, wanted more. You can see it on the rebound. They hurt us very much. They were fighting the whole time, even they were trailing. We felt too comfortable on the time when we were leading 12 points and we could, I should, made it 20, but we did not. We made bad decisions in those moments. They took advantage of this, and this is credit for them. But at the end, we didn't deserve to win this game. A lot of turnovers, a lot of uh, bad fault defensively on things that we were prepared, but we didn't execute. So this is the situation, 1-1. One, one. We go next time to uh, Frankfurt, and it's third game. Vielen Dank. Hat jemand eine Frage? Benedikt, wenn du kurz auf das Mikrofon warten würdest, bitte. Mr. Katsurin, what happened in the last quarter? Your team didn't score for eight and a half minutes and lost five to 24, I think. Exactly what you ask. We didn't score and they scored. That's what happened on the last quarter. What's the, reason? the reason we didn't play smart on those minutes, they played good defense, they were very aggressive. The ball uh, didn't go to the right players at that moment. Some turnovers, they got the momentum. It was, you know, in this situation when the team that come from behind changing the game, that's 99% that this team is going to win the game. They were changing, they were changing the game the, from their side at the right time. So we have to look at the video and learn, show the players what happened over there and try to be better next time. Coach Sherbert, congratulations. I, I guess you know already what they will see on the videos. Uh, can you explain uh, what action what exactly happened in the last quarter? Your team seemed to have found a gap and, and used it widely. On the offensive end, you mean? Yeah. Uh, you know, Deshaun Wood's a pretty special player, and, uh, you know, we put the ball in his, ha his hands. Uh, you know, I, it, wasn't a, it wasn't rocket scientist. It was... Uh, you know, he, he made he made the plays. Yeah. In the third quarter, you your team seemed to have totally fallen apart mentally. They technical fouls against yourself, a couple of other players. That was the assistant coach, not me. Oh, that was the assistant coach. Okay. Yeah. Looks like your brother. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, you had a complete breakdown in the third quarter, and it looked like it was really in the hands of of uh, Alba. Um, was your strategy to play more aggressive? Was that uh, an, uh, a direction from you, or did the, did the team just pick it up and 
Well, you know, we weren't happy at halftime with our defense, and, yeah. uh, and, and it, same in the third quarter. It, you know, and uh, you know, you know, we've been a pretty good defensive team all year. I think we gave up the second least points in the league all year, and uh, and El, El was done a great job of exploiting us, and yeah. uh, and uh, you know, finally we played a little bit of defense. Well, there was a lot of defense there, seeing that Alba only scored five points and that in the last uh, two minutes of the fourth quarter. So the the aggressive style obviously helps your team. Well, we got after it a little bit more, I thought. You know, yeah. we, we got after it. And, uh, you know, and uh, sometimes we're sitting back on our heels and they're coming at us. Yeah. Okay. Had noch jemand eine Frage? Yeah, I have noch eine. Vielleicht noch mal den Kollegen. Danke. Uh, coach, we talked about Deshaun Wood in the last quarter. What was the problem? You, you couldn't contain him in the last quarter. You controlled him pretty much the whole game to the last quarter. I think when I was asked about Deshaun Wood, I said many times before, first of all, it depends on Deshaun Wood, not on the others. But with all that, with all the respect, uh, we planned some things to do, but it failed. It was not uh, executed the right way. And when a player like that gets his uh, rhythm, gets his momentum, then then it really not depends anymore on the defense. Yeah, Coach K, um, throughout the game, leading into the fourth quarter, you had a pretty good tag on Wood. And uh, McElroy was more or less responsible for most of that. Was he hurt in the fourth quarter? Was his back bothering him again? Or we didn't see McElroy much on wood in the fourth quarter. Well, uh, uh, he was not hurt, nothing like that. But mm -hmm. uh, he was more tired. We tried to keep fresh legs against uh, against uh, wood. Looks like we didn't succeed making it. But uh, also, that depends on the lineup we have on the court. So uh, when we want to play with certain lineup, we need to put different players on, on, on different uh, offensive players. But uh, I thought uh, Julius made first half excellent job also on, uh, on Wood. And we kind of really stopped him. He made only five points. He was not uh, influencing the game on the first half. But <laughs> with players like that, once you open you know, a little the door for him, he opened it completely by itself. You know? And then it was one-man show. It was not. Uh, not it was nothing to do, especially when you are over the limit and you cannot uh, even get close to him because you just get close to him. You know, it's a foul. They go to the line, and that was over. Okay. So there's no no injury to no no. no no no. Okay. Mm, Coach Katsurin, um you said Frankfurt played pretty aggressive. Um, Alba did a great, a good job uh, three quarters, and then suddenly there was this breakdown, and you couldn't help the aggressive game high. Is this um, a reason why? Because your your t uh, players are not that fresh anymore because of uh, um, hard uh, hard games against Oldenburg, the five games. Is so maybe a reason for that? Well, I forgot that we play against Oldenburg. Now you remind me about this. I don't think it's nothing about Oldenburg. You have to to give the the credit to Frankfurt team. They were fighting the the whole game, even when they were trailing. Uh, at certain point, they just took advantage. They they were like closing us. You know, they didn't allow us to to make points. They didn't. Uh, they broke the, our sets. You know, they deserve all the all the compliments. I'm not uh, looking for excuse. You know, but uh, of course we should play better. We had the chance because we were leading the the most of the time. But uh, something was missing at the end, you know. So I'm not thinking it's something connected to, to all the move. I'd like to know uh, how you see the performances of uh, two players on one side. Uh, Taylor, uh, he wasn't in the game at all, five fouls and four points. And on the other hand, uh, Yasin Itbi, uh, he's playing a great series, I think. Um, is there any reason for that? How do you see him? Uh, you know that I, I never talk about individuals. We got a team, and it's always, you know, different players step up doing some things. So I prefer, you know, to look at this as the whole picture, not as individuals, because we win together, we lose together. 
I will try to be better next time. Das ist doch ein schönes Schlusswort. Dann wünsche ich Ihnen allen noch einen schönen Abend und vielen Dank für die Aufmerksamkeit. <lacht>